you were brought in as a meet? Well, I was honestly, I was, I was disappointed when I found that out when, because I had anticipated my, uh, most of my life that I was going to take after my father and, you know, all the training, all the workouts, all the, even the, the amateur wrestling career, I have a very extensive amateur career, uh, you know, but I was always, you know, in my mind working towards, you know, trying out professional wrestling, um, just all those years. And of course, training for pro wrestling. And I, I just thought that with my father, you know, having such a legacy name and such deep root rooted history with that company, uh, being one of their original champions. I mean, I thought that I would just, you know, go by Sean Stasiak, take after his name, but have a, have a twist to Sean Stasiak. I, I mean, you know, it might sound boring, just Sean Stasiak. <laughs> Sean Stasiak would have been a, you know, world-class athlete full of piss and dinner there to kick ass and with an attitude and, and be very entertaining all in one, very dynamic, you know, uh, character that I had in mind. But when they presented that to me, um, yeah, I was disappointed. But at the same time, I understood that the company was going in a direction, different business model. They're heading into what we know as the attitude era. And, uh, you know, a couple of the veterans, they knew that I was a little disappointed about it. But he said, Sean, just take the take the roles like being an actor or an actress. And you're just taking a role in a movie or, or a TV show is essentially what it was. It won't last forever. Get your feet wet, learn the business, hone your craft, get you experience. You're out on TV or, you know, although I didn't get much promo opportunity uh during that time you know really that didn't come till really wcw uh when i had that opportunity but yeah i was disappointed but at the same time i was very very excited that i was finally there and had arrived and my foot was in the door so to speak so that that it, it was bittersweet for me honestly so let's say uh ryan shamrock as she was now alicia webb terry runnels jack jackie who was your favorite out of the three you must have a story about some of them did you hang out with them afterwards or whatnot yeah, I get that question a lot, but I always had <laughs> a relationship with all the girls that I worked with, just for the record. Uh, I didn't want to mix uh, personal with, with business, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I mean, they're all great, those girls, you know. They're all, all different, you know, they're all different individuals, different personalities. Um, I think I clicked with Terry probably the most just because her personality, you know, she's fun, loving, and just, you know, just she's just fun to be around, you know. And, you um, you know, she also had been in the business longer than I had been, like actually had her feet wet in that business, you know, uh, marrying into the business and then having her experience. So I actually learned some from Terry, you know, just little things um, behind the scenes stuff, just little, 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 little tips and things that make a difference. The littlest things make a big difference, right? Um, the way you look at the camera, the way your body's positioned, just different things that she knew that would reinforce what I felt that I knew. But I, I learned and, you know, from not just her, but of course, other wrestlers and veterans that were there. Um, but I was so green, you know, when I when I came aboard, I had not had that much training.